Welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today we are going to use the rhinestone panel and we are going to cut faux rhinestones. All right, so here if you have just purchased a silhouette machine and you are using the basic edition, you will need to upgrade to at least the designer edition. I am working with the business edition, so um, I have a few other things, but if you're just wanting to do the rhinestones, then you will need to update to at least the designer edition. Okay, so let's jump in here and I will show you two different places you can find your rhinestone panel. You can actually go to the panel come down here and click on rhinestones, or you can come over here and all of these right here, if you don't know what they are, you can hover over them and it will tell you what they are. So right here are the rhinestones. I'm gonna click that one and I'm gonna open it up. Okay, we are first gonna talk about the size right here. Your 10 SS is your standard rhinestone size. So we are going to stay with that one. Today, because we are just using the cut method and we are just using the value, we do not need to do the rhinestone count. But if you are doing rhinestones, you need to know how many that are in there. This right here, once you start typing, you will see the, uh, the number come up and tell you exactly how many rhinestones you will need for that project once you finish. So we are going to go over here and I'm gonna start with, um, I'm gonna draw some shapes just to show you. Now this comes with the business edition Okay, all right, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to type a word so I can show you. Okay, we are going to stretch it just a little bit. All right, we're gonna go over and we are going to change the font on this. As you can see, these are few that I have used. Impact is always a good one to use with your rhinestones. So I'm going to click that one. Um, I like I like that one for the rhinestones and I also like it whenever you're doing a knockout. You can see a knockout video um, in on our channel. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click this. I'm going to highlight it, go back to my rhinestones Okay, we have several different ones. That one's just the line that it is now. We also have the edge. So let's click that one. That's just gonna do the edge. Or we can go over here and we can do the linear fill. I don't use this one very much. Okay, and then you can use the radial fill, which is usually the one that I will use if I want a smaller. Today, I'm just going to use the line or the edge rather, okay? So that way you see that one right there, all right? And don't forget, once we're finished sizing this, I can pull and drag it a little bit more, okay? I'm going to right click and of course, because I'm using heat transfer, I'm going to turn it vertical. All right, so over here, I am going to change this one to a line, okay? And then I'm going to give it an offset, okay? The offset is really close to it, so I'm going to drag it just a little bit and then I'm gonna resize it. 
Okay. With these, I'm not going to have to flip because of the shape. So we are going to go over. I'm going to move these over so I can cut these. And I will go ahead and show you on here with, okay, just real quick, 292 rhinestones is what I would need for this. Okay, now whenever I go to cut this, I cut this on heat transfer smooth. I always test it but I can cut it on heat transfer smooth and I just bump up my force too. And I use one pass on that one. Um, when you're using something new, you want to try to use your test button for test right here. You can also move these over. So say I have this over here and I've already tested right here. It didn't cut correctly, so I needed to make my adjustments, and then I can still move, move it over to test right here, or I can go all the way over here by using these arrows. Once I get it over, once I get the blade over where I would like it to cut right here, and it's over there on the mat, I press test, it's going to go over, adjust, and it's going to come back right here where I had stopped, and it's going to test cut. You won't need to move anything. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Now we're going to go over, and I'm going to show you how to press and show you the different holographic uh, that Caesar has to offer. To creative design and supply. Today we are going to talk about <clears throat> our holographic. Um, I just showed you in silhouette how to cut this like rhinestones. Really simple. Um, I wanted to show all of them. We have all the colors of the rainbow. We also have actual rainbow. I may be out of focus a little bit, but I wanted to show how pretty these are. And they're going to be soft on a shirt. So, let's see. And this is not all of the holographic line. Okay. The holographic, these are 12 by 20. They are $4. You can get a lot of stuff out of these. The only one that's not shown, let me see if I can get it. For some reason, we also have the silver crystal. I just now noticed that one. Um, that one's really neat too. So like if you want to do a bigger design, super soft when you press it. So like I said, $4 for a 12 by 20 sheet. This is not all. So this is part of a holographic line and these are really, really neat. I wanna see if they'll be able to change in the color. Um, this one right here is Disco. Truly see the colors in it. This has a red to yellow in it. And then we have the Mystic Pearl, which is more of the iridescent color. Um, let's see. And this one is the Rainforest Pearl. This one has a green to yellow tint to it. And I also have a shirt like this one with the Moonlight Pearl on it. Um, it's on one of my darker purple shirts that I wear in my videos. 
super soft, guys, whenever you press these. Um, this is the Rainbow Pearl. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more on the translucent. If you can see, whenever I lay it down, you can see the grid on it. So, it's going to take... It's going to take the color of whatever it's behind and it's going to pearlize with it. And we are going to get into where I showed you the video of me cutting out for the rhinestones on there. Okay. I cut the heart out in this one. Okay. And I have a little, oh, this is the one that I did two different ones. I'm going to have to, this is my offset to that one. I wanted to do a few shapes. Um, I also wanted to show you on here how whenever you weed it, how easily it weeds. And with the rhinestone effect, Okay, so if I say I'm pulling and I miss, I miss one and it doesn't come up, let's see if I can get this one to do it. Okay, so I cut this one on um, HTV Smooth. I just upped my points on my force too. Always do a test cut. I figured if I didn't cut this one separate, then it would. Okay. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. So that one didn't come up, so I just used my tweezers to poke it back down. Okay, if you pull it back like this, easy to weed, and I only went over this one once. I know a lot of people that go over it twice. See, there's another one that didn't come up, so I'm going to hold it and pull down. But see how nice this weeds out. And if I do miss a spot, it's easy to line back up, put back on there. Look how that. Now I'm do pressing this. On the press settings, we are going to do this heats up at 320. And you press it for 10 to 15 seconds. And it's going to be a cold peel. So now I rearranged it just a little bit so you can see here and here. All right, I'm going to put this on a little, a little shirt. I'm going to pre-press it, and as always, I'm definitely going to use a pressing pillow because I'm up around these thick seams, and this is a very thin heat transfer vinyl, and I want to make sure that it adheres properly. So, and that's at 320 to even out. All right. Okay. All right, I'm pressing this one for about 10 to 12 seconds. Okay. All right. And this is a cold peel, so I'm going to let that one get cold. All right. And I know this one is cold completely cold now so I'm gonna peel this one off look how 
pretty that is. And like I mentioned on the video of showing how to do this, you need at least the designer or above to do the rhinestone cuts. You could actually even do the rhinestones itself, but this gives you the option to be able to cut the holographic out with it. Okay, so now this one's going to be really, really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and put the other hearts and stuff on the back. Okay. We are going to let that one cool. I will peel that one in just a moment. All right. Look at how pretty. So you see why you would have to peel this one cold? Because if it's still warm and flexible, how sticky it is to the carrier sheet, you have more chance of it coming off and pulling or stretching. Look at that. And it's super soft. Okay. Super, super soft.